Low G Accelerometers Part 2 from Freescale. Welcome to the training module on Freescale's Low G Accelerometers. This training module introduces some key products within Low G Accelerometers, overview their features and connections with a microcontroller. The MMA 7260Q is Freescale's 3-axis low-G acceleration sensor. It has three axes of sensitivity in one package, X, Y, and Z. The G-Select feature enables the sensitivity to be selected in one single device at any of these values, 1.5G, 2G, 4G, or 6G, just by changing the inputs of two pins of the accelerometer. One of the requirements of the mini handheld electronics is to conserve battery power. Therefore, with a low current consumption of 500 microamps and a fast turn-on time of one millisecond, the MMA 7260Q can save battery life during operation. In sleep mode, the current consumption drops to three microamps and has a faster turn-on time of 0.5 milliseconds. The MMA 7260Q also has a low voltage operation of 2.2 volts to 3.6 volts, which works well with today's popular handheld electronics. The G-Select sensitivity has two input pins, G-Select 1 and G-Select 2. By changing these inputs from either a high or low value, you can select all three, all these different G ranges. The G select is best configured by connecting to the additional I.O. ports of a chosen microcontroller. Here you can see the connection between the microcontroller's I.O. ports and the G select 1 and G select 2 inputs of the accelerometer. This G-Select table shows the different input ranges for G-Select 1 and G-Select 2 to achieve particular G-range. The MMA 7260Q can provide two key solutions with the G-Select feature. One is to determine the optimum sensitivity. In this case, the microcontroller reads the accelerometer outputs and analyzes to achieve a more accurate acceleration measurement tailoring optimum sensitivity for the application. The second key solution that the MMA 7260Q can provide with the G-Select feature is to run multiple accelerometer applications. This function allows the system to run multiple accelerometer applications with different G-ranges. Here is a reference design for interfacing MMA 7260Q to a microcontroller. The G-Select 1 and G-Select 2 pins are connected to the I.O. ports of a microcontroller which provide a logic value to select the G-level. The microcontroller may output a logic low to sleep mode pin of the MMA 7260Q which makes the device enter into the sleep mode. Then, the MMA 7260Q outputs are turned off, which provides significant reduction of operating current. By placing a high input signal on this pin, the device will resume to normal mode of operation. The three-axis output voltage can be directly interfaced with the inputs of an analog-to-digital converter in the microcontroller. The MMA 7300L family devices are low-power, low-profile, capacitive micro-machined accelerometers featuring signal conditioning, a one-pole low-pass filter, temperature compensation, self-test, zero-G detect, which detects linear freefall, and G-Select, which allows for the selection between two sensitivities. Zero-G offset and sensitivity are factory set and require no external devices. These devices also include a sleep mode 
that makes them ideal for handheld battery powered electronics. Here is a reference design for interfacing the MMA7300L to a microcontroller. The G-Select pins are connected to the I.O. ports of the microcontroller, which provide a logic value to select the G-Level. The microcontroller may output a logic low to, sleep, to the sleep mode pin, which makes the device enter into the sleep mode. The three-axis output voltage can be directly interfaced to the input of an analog-to-digital controller in a micro, uh, analog-to-digital converter in a microcontroller. The sensor offers a zero-G detect feature that provides a logic high-level signal to connect to an interrupt pin or a pulled I.O. pin on the microcontroller when all three axes are at zero-G. The microcontroller can initiate the sensor into self-test mode via the I.O. port. The sensor provides a self-test feature that allows the verification of the mechanical and electrical integrity of the accelerometer at any time before or after installation. Customers can use self-test to verify the solderability to confirm that the part was mounted to the printed circuit board correctly. This self-test procedure assures that both the mechanical G-cell and the electronic sections of the accelerometer are functioning. The MMA7450L devices are digital output accelerometer sensors with output digital uh, outputs, I squared C and SPI bus, a fast response time, low current consumption, low voltage operation, and a standby mode in a small profile package. The advantage of the digital accelerometer is that the analog to digital converter implemented within the sensor and the microcontroller can be used to accompany the sensor that does not require an analog to digital converter. The sensor can connect directly to the SPI or I squared C bus into the microcontroller. This device has both threshold and pulse detection interrupts. There are two sampling rates available at 125 Hz using the 62.5 Hz digital filter and 250 Hz using the 125 Hz digital filter. There is a self-test function to verify the integrity of the MIMS sensor and the ASIC signal path. Connecting these devices to a microcontroller using I2C communications is simple. Connect power and ground, STA, SDA, that's pin 13, and SCL, that's pin 14 lines, appropriately to the microcontroller. Chip select pin, CS, pin 7, is used for selecting the mode of communication. When CS is high, I2C communication is selected. In I2C communication, the microcontroller is a master device to provide the MMA7450L family parts with a serial clock, clock signal and addresses. And the accelerometer is always considered the slave. The MMA7450L I2C communication protocol follows the NXP semiconductor standard. Serial, 8-bit, oriented Bidirectional data transfers can be made at speeds up to 100 kilobits per second in the standard mode and up to 400 kilobits per second in the fast mode. These modes are adjustable by changing the clock frequency. When connecting the sensor to a microcontroller using SPI communications, there are six connections to the microcontroller. The SPI interface consists of two control lines and two data lines. CS, SPC, SDI, and SDO. The chip select pin, 7, is the slave device enable which is controlled by the SPI master. CS is driven low at the start of a transmission. CS is then driven high at the end of a transmission. SDI and SDO are slave port data input and slave port data output respectively. 
The master device, the microcontroller, initiates all SPI data transfers. During a transfer, the MCU clock shifts data out on the master out slave input pin to the sensor while simultaneously shifting data in on the master in slave out pin from the sensor. The SP SCK pin 14 signal is a clock output from the master and an input to the slave. The sensor must be selected by a low level on the slave select input pin 7. The SDA IO line on the MMA 7450X family changes from being an input into the accelerometer and becomes a bidirectional line. The MMA 7450L is in SPI 4 wire mode by default. Here are some simple steps to set up the accelerometer with a microcontroller for the SPI or I squared C communications. Freescale provides different accelerometer evaluation boards for different sensors. There are small circuit boards intended to be used for evaluating the accelerometers and developing prototypes quickly without requiring a printed circuit board to be designed. It also provides a means for understanding the best mounting position and location of an accelerometer in the product with the provided board mounting points. The MMA 7450L 3-axis digital output accelerometer has been placed on a printed circuit board with access to all the pins to allow the customer to evaluate the product by integrating it into their specific design application. This allows the customer the flexibility to evaluate the device around their own hardware and software environment. This board can be wired to a Freescale microcontroller evaluation or demo board and programmed for various application functions. The Z-STAR-3 development tool contains one accelerometer transmitter board and one USB receiver node. The Z-STAR system can accommodate up to 16 accelerometer transmitter boards connected through the R an RF Zigbee 2.4 GHz communication to a single USB node connected to a PC. The accelerometer boards measure acceleration in three axes using either a digital or analog sensor. The sensor sensitivity is defined by the selected accelerometer. The USB node is part of the Z-STAR and Z-STAR 2 design reprogrammed with dedicated software supporting multiple nodes. The Z-STAR development tool offers new PC software interface that shows all the basic accelerometer functions with the enhanced features. Sensor placement is very important and is often overlooked. The MEMS sensor inside the package is very sensitive to stresses. Small deflections inside the MEMS sensor on the order of 10 nanometer correspond to a change in accelerometer of 1 G. Care must be taken to ensure that the package is not stressed by holes or components on the printed circuit board placed too closely to the accelerometer. It is important not to place the sensor near an edge where it may be knocked around or touched by people's hands. Also, avoid bending the printed circuit board as PCB stresses is transferred to the accelerometer. Temperature can also be an, off, uh, an issue. It is good to avoid placing the sensor far away from components that may have large temperature variations or that are constantly very hot as this will also affect the offset of the sensor. For optimal motion detection, place the sensor away from the center of a device 
This will ensure better acceleration readings and make them more significant to detect smaller motions from a higher moment of inertia than if placed right on the center of movement. A person's fall is usually an indication of an emergency, especially in some groups like elderly people, firemen, and policemen. Here we will introduce an approach to solve the human fall problem. Because accelerometers are small and can be mounted easily on the body, easily interface with a portable processing unit, and they are low power consumption, a person's fall can be detected and reported for immediate response using them. The human fall detection system must be small so that it can be easily attached to the person. It also is battery powered. The accurate detection is required. When a fall is detected, the event is reported to a station and saved into non-volatile memory in the device. The device can receive and execute commands from the station to control the non-volatile memory. Here is the hardware architecture for human fall detection systems. The accelerometer gives three signals corresponding to the sensed acceleration in each axis. The two lines for G selection are controlled directly by the microcontroller. The power save pin is connected to VDD to allow the accelerometer to be on constantly. The processing unit controls the behavior of the accelerometer. The user controls and indicators the I2C memory and the RF transceiver. It processes the accelerometer outputs to generate information about the human state and to determine whether he or she has fallen or not. The RF transceiver gives the, sy the system the capability to report an event or emergency to a base station. It is also the way to access the data on the I2C memory.